Father, we honor your name. We glorify you once again this morning. We thank you for the grace to approach you this morning. We thank you, Father, for the honor to come before you, to be part of the movement, the declaration, and the representation of your counsel for this new day. We thank you, Lord, that your spirit is drawing us and wooing us to this new reality. Once again, Father, we come before you. We strip ourselves of every form of knowledge. We strip ourselves of every form of idea regarding how to pray, regarding how to approach you. We come with a heart of a child. We come with a heart of faith this morning. We proclaim this morning that we know nothing of ourselves except Christ and him crucified. So we declare this morning, Lord, that you be glorified in our midst, you be glorified in our prayer. That once again, the fire that we have come to offer and the sacrifice, Lord, that they will be acceptable in your sight. That you'll be glorifying, you'll be magnifying us. That once again, our prayer, O oh God, will rise up to you as a sweet smelling savour. Lord, that the incense of this prayer will rise up, will come before your throne. That you'll find in us a pleasure, that you'll find within our midst a pleasure, O oh God. That you'll be able to build, yes, your house, your place, your habitation in us and through us. We have come to watch, we've come to pray. We have come to seek your face. And we've come to honor you. Therefore, have your way this morning, O God, even as we pray. As you begin to open your word to us, once again, we pray that our eyes of understanding will be illuminated. That we will see with clarity. That we will have insight. That we will have depth, O God. Lord, that we will not be shallow again. Lord, that we will go further, deeper into the realities of your demand for this new day. As you continue to break the bread of your word. We pray that our eyes will be open to see. Touch our ears to hear. Touch our mouth to speak in accordance to your intentions. Holy Spirit, have your way once again. Holy Spirit, take your place. May your kingdom come. May your will be done. As it is done in heaven, let it be done in our lives. Let it be done in our homes. Let it be done within our space. Let it be done within our various world, O oh God. We pray this morning. Come, Holy Spirit, teach us how to pray, how to engage you. Help us to stand. Help, help us to be posture in the right way, in the right manner. Help us to engage, yes, that which your spirit wants us to engage this morning. We thank you this morning once again. Reclothe us, reclothe our mind, our thoughts. Reclothe, yes, our imagination. Help us to be focused. Help us to hear the sound of heaven. Help us to respond in accordance to your will. Come, Holy Spirit, teach us once again. Help us to be positioned on the wall. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we are travelers this morning. and We are traveling light. We lay down every weight. We lay down every burden. We lay down, yes, every issue, O oh God, that distracts men from coming, from pressing into you. We lay aside, O oh God, every form of weight. We lay aside every form of carnality. We press into you. We declare this morning. Have your way in us. Reign through us. Yes, in the name of Jesus, we proclaim that as we continue to pray and continue to seek your face and continue to posture our hearts as a sojourner, as a traveler, that you continue to take us deeper into the next reality, into the next position, into the next ordained order of your counsel for our life, for our city, for our nation, for our communities. Oh God, we pray in the name of Jesus, enable us. For we do not know how to pray. Enable us. Empower us, O God. Endow us. Endue us, O God, from on high. Satala Bayada. We pray this morning. Show us the path. Show us the Asian path. Reveal your heart to us. Reveal your mind to us. Bring us into a new position of strength. Bring us into a new position of light. Bring us into a new position of power. Bring us to, into a new position of kingdom dominion. In the name of Jesus, we declare this morning, our soul, mind, and body, yes, is bound to your will. We bind ourselves to you. We bind our mind to you. We bind our thought to you. We bind every aspect of our 
being to you. We bind every aspect of our being to you. We declare this morning we are being changed. We are being transformed in the name of Jesus. For it is no longer us who lives. The life we live in this flesh, we live by the faith of the Son of God who loved us and died for us. Jesus, you will reign in us this morning. Our life will be a vessel in your hand this morning. Our life will be an instrument in your hand this morning. We proclaim that it is no longer us that lives. Yes, it is you that lives in us. Live your life through us this morning. Let our life be an extension, yes, of yours. Let our life be a true reflection of your intention. Let our life be a true reflection of your desire. We pray this morning that we diminish that you may be increased, O oh God. We pray this morning that we diminish that you may increase. Take your place. Have your way this morning. Open us up, O oh God, to the things of heaven. Open our mind. Open our thought. Open our desire, O oh God. Yes, to the realms of your spirit. Hallelujah. Our desire this morning is to be in rapture is to be captured yes in that place of ascendance in that place of ascension is our desire we want to live in a transcended life we want to live in that realm that where you are we want to live in that place where you are take your place and have your way this morning may your kingdom come into every aspect of our space may your kingdom come into every area of our life may your kingdom come into every area of our home may your kingdom come into every area of our marriage of our family in the name of Jesus may your kingdom come into our community. May your kingdom come this morning into our city. May your kingdom come into our nation. May your kingdom come into your church, into the ecclesia. May your kingdom come into your body. May your kingdom come, Lord, into our space. We declare this morning, we close every gap in the name of Jesus that separates us from you. We close the gap in the name of Jesus. We proclaim proximity in the name of Jesus. We declare proximity wall to wall this morning. We build in the name of Jesus. We mount our wall. We mount our position this morning we declare that we are advancing you say from the days yes of john the baptist even unto now the kingdom of the lord is suffering violence violence we take by force father we thank you for the spirit of force the spirit that will not give up the spirit of tenacity the spirit that will not let go we press further this morning we declare in jesus name that we are advancing into the realm into the reality of your intentions we are advancing into the next place into the next council of your plan and purposes for our life we declare that we are not marking time we are going further we are going forward in the name of Jesus you have called us to come to your hill you've called us to come to the mountain and this day we declare that we are dressed ready we are prepared to come Lord in the name of Jesus we thank you for the capacity to be transformed yes Lord to advance capacity to be transformed yes to my greater we declare Lord that we have not a continuous city but we seek for that which is to come in the name of Jesus we are seeking for that which is to come we are beholding the city from afar and we're embracing it lord we are embracing we are embracing that which is coming in the name of jesus we are coming to meet you outside the camp in the name of jesus we declare this morning yes father though we are in this world we are not of this world we will not be captured by the spirit of the age we will not be captured by the spirit of babylon we will not be captured by the spirit of the egyptians in the name of jesus we refuse to be to be to be pyramid builders in egypt father we journey forth to the place of divine worship we come to the place of your divine worshiper. We've come this morning, Father. We declare, Almighty God, every aspect of our being is yearning and longing and calling, O oh God, for more of you. Yes, Father, more of you in the name of Jesus. Because we know that when you are in us and where you are well seated in us, then we have the capacity and the solution, yes, to answer the needs of men. In the name of Jesus, we leave the valley realm this morning. We come to the place where you are. We come to your hill. We come to your mountain. Therefore, we have come with a clean hand. We have come with a a clean heart. You say, who can come to the heel of the law? Father, we have come this morning. Wash, purify. You are the one that have washed us. You are the one that have purified us. We are washed by the washing of the water by your word. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we have been transformed this morning. We cast down every thought and imagination. Every height that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. We proclaim and we declare this morning that it is not of us but of you. It is not of us but of you. You, Lord, is what we desire. You are the desire of the nations. Therefore, we desire you more than anything we desire you than gold we desire you than the rubies of this world we desire you than the treasures of this world you are our treasure you are our eternity you are our chosen possession it is you that we want so we pray this morning bring us in O oh god bring us in O oh god bring us in O oh god wash us purify us O oh god in your fire that we may be that vessel representing you in the days of oh god 
<clears throat> where men are failing in the days of God, where the treasures of men are failing. Father, we declare, Almighty God, we present to the world, yes, a new order of treasure. We are our people, oh, yeah, oh God, of your treasure. We are our people of your treasure. We are our people of your treasure. Christ in us, the treasures of the world. Christ in us, the treasure of this world. Christ in hearts, the hope of glory. In the name of Jesus, we are carriers of light. We are carriers of light because we have been birthed through your life. Nushtabayande, because we have been birthed through your life, we are become indeed the expression of your light. In the name of Jesus, let, let, let your light shine through us. Help us this morning to illuminate our world. Help us this day, O oh God, to illuminate our world, to illuminate our society, to illuminate our community. Help us this morning. Baptize us afresh with your fire that we may be lit up in the name of Jesus. We receive, O oh God, the clothing tongue of fire as it were in the day of Pentecost. We declare this morning, we receive the clothing tongue of fire. Your Almighty God, the fire that will allow us to go forth, O oh God. The fire that will allow men to see us burn for you, yet without being consumer. Yes, Sepala Bayanda. You said you would do a new thing. It will spring forth. This is the day of newness. Father, this is the day of newness. We have come, Lord, with the mentality of the new. We are coming, Lord, with the reality of the new. We are coming, Father, with the mentality of the now. Now faith is. Now faith is. We are people of faith. We are people of faith. We do not doubt. Faith do not look at what is seen. Faith look at what you are showing. What faith looks at what you are revealing. We are people of faith. And therefore this morning we declare, by faith we apprehend. By faith we comprehend. By faith we apprehend. By faith we comprehend. By faith we take possession. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare, Almighty God, as you have chosen to have to go forth, we declare we are of the company of Joshua and Caleb who have the faith to see. Halabashanda. We have the faith to possess. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We thank you this morning. We take possession. We take possession in the name of Jesus by faith. By faith, we take possession of the Midianite. We take possession of the Canaanite. We take possession of the land of the Philistines. We take possession of the land of the Amalekite. We take possession in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare we are able because you are our ability. Because you are our ability. We declare we are able. We are able. We are not disempowered. We are not disabled. Come on. We are not disempowered. We are able. We are more than able. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Christ in us, the hope of glory. For he who has begun a good work in us is able to finish it. What you have begun in us, Father, we pray, bring it to a place, Manda Brano, of progression once again as we engage you this day. As we seek your face. As we seek your face. As we seek your face. We pray for transformation. As we seek your face. Transform us, O God. Enable us. Bring us, O God, anew into the place of your... to the place of your treasure in the Labushayada, Nisiki Babando, Hatola Brende Basadaya. We seek your face to be transformed. We seek your face to be transformed. We are the generation of them that seek your face. We are the generation of them that seek your face, that we may be transformed as they beheld you. Yes, man, in the mirror of your word, they have been transformed one dimension. They have been transformed from one dimension of glory to the next. We have been transformed. Our home is transforming. Our city is transforming. Our nation are transforming. Our society are transforming. Our government are transforming. In the name of Jesus, we are the one, Mamde, representing you. Therefore, we are the agents of transformation. We are the one transforming our city. Katalia. We are the light of our city. We are the light of our home. We are the light of our community. Transformation is taking place. We transform every look and cranny. We transform the young and the old. We transform, yes, the elder and, 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 and the law. We transform, yes, the state man. In the name of Jesus, we transform, Mamde, the ordinary man on the street. Uh, transformation. The calibrano. The capacity and the atmosphere tra- for transformation. It is transformation in the name of Jesus. This is the day of transformation. Yet is the day of reformation in the name of Jesus. Divine alignment uh, in the name of Jesus. It's a day of transformation. It's a day of reformation. Yet is a day of redemption. Mato sabrana mati plano. We proclaim transformation. We proclaim in the name of Jesus reformation. We declare redemption and therefore we declare it's a day of restoration. 
restoration. It's a day of restoration. We engage, oh God. We engage transformation. We engage reformation. We engage in the name of Jesus with the spirit mando of reformation. We engage with the spirit mando of restoration. Manda, you said, Manda riba ya tola brano. This Christ shall be restored in brano. This Christ shall be withheld in heaven until the day of restoration and restitution of all things. We bring everything into order. We bring everything into restoration. We bring everything. We bring everything. Every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. We bring creation into the order of restoration. Creation is crying. We declare we are the answer. You have made us saviors to the world. You have made us to be saviors to the world. You have made us to be saviors to our world. We declare let the light of transformation, let the power of transformation begin to take place uh, from Cairo to Egypt. Uh, in the name of Jesus. From Egypt, Mandaraboshiando to Western Cape, Mandaraboshiando. Let transformation begin to take place uh, from this point, oh God. Yes, to United Kingdom. Uh, let transformation be- begin to take place uh, from this place, oh God. In the name of Jesus to the Caribbeans. Uh, let transformation begin to take place uh, from this place, oh God. Yes, to America. Let transformation begin to take place uh, from this place, oh God, to the Orient. Uh, let transformation begin to take place uh, in the name of Jesus. Mandaraboshiando let transformation begin to take place in China let transformation begin to take place in Korea let transformation begin to take place in the Caribbean let transformation begin to take place in Africa Librano, we are the sons of light we have come to bring a change we bring in a change we are declaring a voice of change even in the church in the name of Jesus Father we thank you this day we honor you we glorify you we give you glory for the power of change for the spirit of change, like a wild wind is blowing, like a wild wind is blowing, like a tornado is blowing, in the name of Jesus, nothing can stand in the path of this wind, nothing can stand in the path of this wind, like a, like a wild wind is blowing, you said if you will find the people that will pray, you said you will move in the land, we offer you prayer this morning, move on our behalf, Labrono. we can pray, but you can do the rest, we can pray, but you can do the rest. We will play our part and we will allow you to play your part. We will play our part. We will join force with you. We are in agreement with you. We cooperate with you my God. Shake the foundation of many generations. Shake the foundation of many generations. Shake the foundation of many generations. Generation. That the desires of men may rise up to you. You said you will shake everything that can be shaken. You will shake the, the foundation of many generation that the desire of the world the desire of the nation may rise up to you father we declare this is the day where the nation are reaching out you say egypt shall reach out to you you say Ethiopia shall reach out to you this is the day father we are reaching out to you yes we are reaching out to you we are reaching out to you let the stone come man that ball a stone come without human hair let it hit man door ye salibonda the feet of the iron and clay labo shandaya talabo mambrano mosondo let the people be ready and prepare rabatonya we are taking over. You said the saints, man, there are all. We take over the nations. Uh, the saints will inherit the kingdom. Uh, Father is our day, man, that rabo. We rise up as a company of saints. Uh, we are not coming as an apostle. We are not coming as prophet. We are not coming, oh God, as teachers. We are not coming as evangelists. We are coming as saints. Uh, you said the saints shall inherit, yes, the kingdom. Uh, Father, we declare in the name of Jesus, according to your word in Daniel, we are the saints. Uh, we are the saints, the saints that you have washed, uh, the ones that have been bought, yes, by the by the precious blood of the Lamb, the ones that have been cleansed this morning, we rise up in the spirit of corporate ecclesia. We rise up in the spirit of the corporate ecclesia and we begin to take possession in the name of Jesus. We take possession in the name of Jesus. We take possession in the name of Jesus. We push back the works of darkness. We push back the hand of the enemy. We proclaim, let every chain begin to fall off. Let every scale in the eyes of men begin to fall off. Sight in the name of Jesus to the nation. Sight in the name of Jesus to the nation. In the name of Jesus, we break the bars of, of iron. In the name of Jesus, we declare liberty. We declare jubilee. We declare freedom. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we declare Manda Rabo that we minister in the name of Jesus to the poor. We begin to release, oh God, resource, 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 resource to the nations, resource, King Kingdom, resource to the nation. In the name of Jesus, you said you will give them shepherd that will feed them. Manda Rabo, Ikalaba. We declare we are the shepherds of the nation. We are the shepherds, shepherd in the nation. Father, we thank you right now. We give you glory. A stirring of your spirit. Jesus, 
ziplano no no shande rada badu da didi sumbra de batayanda raba hainda shtera dododo sembrano masomba rebayada Blessed be the name of the Lord who always causes us to triumph. This is the triumph. This is the faith we have in Christ. This is the victory we have in Christ. We triumph this morning. We triumph this morning. Come on there. We triumph this morning. We rise up in the power of transformation. We triumph this morning in the power of transformation. We triumph this morning. We go forth in the name of Jesus. Mando. We go forth riding, oh God, Mando. I'm the host, Mando, of victory. We go forth in the name of Jesus in the strength of the Lord. We go forth in the name of Jesus in the garment of, of purity this morning. We thank you, Father. Not by might, not by power, not by might, not by power. There is power in the spoken word. There is power in your proclamation. There is power in your declaration. No wonder the scripture says, do not say to an angel, it is a joke. Because the words that you speak, they are spirit and they are life. Jesus was preaching and the power of God was present to heal them all. As we proclaim and declare these things, through the instrument of our mouth, we proclaim, now changes are taking place. In lives, in homes, in cities, in communities, within the institutions and the parastatus that defines society. We thank you, O God, that everything contrary to the will of God are bowing the knees right now. A new cream of people are emerging with righteousness. The sons of righteousness, yes, are gliding upon the clouds of glory. Father, we thank you. Thank you for boldness. Thank you for strength. Thank you for boldness. Thank you for strength. Thank you for boldness. Thank you, O God, for boldness. As the prayer word declared that the place shook on the rubber shender and the spirit of boldness came upon the church. Father, we are becoming bold. We are becoming bold because your spirit emboldened us. Your spirit enabled us. Your spirit energized us. We are not weak. You will say, let the weak say, I am strong. We declare that we are strong in you. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We bless your name, O oh God. We glorify you. We lift your name on high. Be exalted. Be magnified. Spirit of the Lord. Change is taking place. Change is taking place. In us. Within us. Through us. Around us. In our minds. In our lives. Change is taking place. We are being conformed. We are being conformed. To the image of Christ. We are being conformed. To the mind of Christ. We are being conformed. To the ways of Christ. We are being conformed. To the values of Christ. We are being conformed. To the characters of Christ. We are being transformed. Into the likeness of Christ. Nema Sandaraba. Change is taking place. We honor you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Friends, I want to welcome you this morning to another live session of the Beyond Devotional Broadcast. My name is Isaiah Phillips Akintola. Thank God for your life. Thank you for joining me this morning to pray. I believe in the power of prayer. I believe if we can find few people who are passionate about prayer. Not only will they be empowered in the sevenfold spirit of God, but they will be empowered in their place of call, in their giftings. It's for one thing for God to call us into an office. It's another thing for us to begin to give God the kind of lifestyle that will allow him 
to fine tune, to reform, to empower, to upgrade, and to advance that grace or gift. We can all accelerate in our calling, our giftings. And that's, that's the nature of the things of God. When God gives you a talent, he expects you to multiply it. When God gives you a gift, he expects you to advance that gift. He expects you to maximize that gift. Whatever God gives you, he wants to see multiplication. One area that shows that we are really ready to advance, to multiply, is when we begin to engage God in the place of prayer. Because what that means is we are saying to God that of ourselves we cannot do anything. Of our own, we don't know what to say. We don't know what to do. They said to Jesus, for we don't know what to say. He said, don't bother, don't bother in that. I will put my words. You see, there's a word that God is putting in our lips. If you're called to serve in any area of life, it doesn't have to be a fivefold ministry. All right, whatever field that you've been called to serve, if you will take that thing to the Lord and lay it on the altar and say, Father, you've given me this gift, but I don't know what to do with it. I want you to enable me, empower me. I mean, this is what we learn from our Lord Jesus himself. He was sent from heaven. But guess what? When he came here on earth, he had to submit to the principle of developing in the ministry he was sent to carry out. For 18 years, thereabouts, we never heard anything about him. He was engaging. He was engaging. You see, the, the more we engage, it's not about manifestation. It's not about showing yourself. You see, we have too many half-baked giftings out there today. No wonder. Little things can kick them off the ground, can you know, flood them. Somebody throws some little money, they forget their name, they forget who they are because they have not been well prepared. They heard the call, they ran, but they were not they were not prepared. They were not prepared. The kind of challenges we are gonna be facing, we're gonna be you know engaging in the days we, we live in requires that we are well prepared, friends. It requires that we are well prepared. Before Jesus, you know, led his, you know, uh, uh, commissioned his, his disciple and sent them out. They were equipped. He, he didn't just call them. The Bible said they lived with him. What do you think they were doing when they lived with Jesus? Beyond just him teaching them. He was empowering them. He was equipping them. He was resourcing them. So that when he sent them out, the Bible says... They saw, they saw Satan fall like, like a lightning. Jesus said, don't rejoice that the demons are subject to you. Don't rejoice only that you, be, you are able to cast out devils that you, you saw, you know, the paths of darkness fall. Don't rejoice. Rejoice that heaven recognizes you. Rejoice that heaven approves you. Rejoice that your name is, in, is, is, in, is, is, is written. In the book of Lamb, in the, in the Lamb books of, of life, he said that's that's that should be what your that should be what will cause your rejoice. You've got to understand this, brother. You've got to understand this, friends. That our rejoicing is not just in the ability to cast out demon and to raise the dead. We rejoice that we have proximity before the Father, that we have a place, we have a standing before the Father, that heaven recognizes us. Don't you understand? The Bible says there will be some people, all right, that will be walking in the powers and miracles and all kinds of things, but yet they are not recognized in heaven. We don't want to find ourselves in that condition. We want to live our life in the proximity of the Father. So that whatever we do, we do it because we've been sanctioned to do it by heaven. Not because all right, the pressures of the day makes demand on us. We do it because we are close. We do it because we are not just apostles and prophets. We do it because we have sons before God. We do it because we are the bride of Christ. We do it because, amen, we are co-builders with Christ. We do it because, amen, we have been positioned as one that intercedes on behalf of the land. This is a dimension we've got to come into. The demand for this day requires that we are known, not just by principality, but by the Father himself. The demands of the hour demands that we are identified, that we are recognized. Remember, we were dealing with the seven sons of Sceva. 
and those itinerant, you know, guys in, in Acts chapter 19, they said they, will, they, they, they took it upon themselves that they will cast out, you know, the a devil in a guy in the name of Jesus and the Paul, you know, in the name of Paul and the name of Jesus whom Paul preached. And the spirit looked at them and said, Paul, I know Jesus, I know who are you. I mean, can you imagine? Powers of darkness, they recognized this man called Paul. Not only did they recognize Jesus, but they identified Paul as a true apostle. Listen to this. You are not an apostle until the powers of darkness recognizes you. Until the principality, until the powers that be within your city, within your nation, recognize you. And the only way they will recognize you is not when you go out screaming, devil come out, is when you engage in the things of the spirit. When you begin to engage God. When you begin to you know, engage God in the things of the spirit. Listen, your visibility will become known not just among the 24 elders but within the corridors amen, of powers and principality over the atmosphere of cities and nations. I can confidently tell you, the powers of darkness, they know me. That's not a boast. Because I have seen, I have witnessed. I mean, I was sharing yesterday. Two days ago, I was here in the evening trying to pray and trying to just go on, you know, on air. I mean, here comes attack from different angles. My face was going blurry. My, my, my mind was like, I mean, I had to stop the broadcast. I had to stop the broadcast. This is this is no joke. This is real. I had to stop the broadcast. Why? Because certain powers do not want what you're doing to become a reality. Say, so who is this guy? This is real, friends. Last week, the last week, not quite five minutes, I went to bed. Suddenly. I was attacked. Suddenly. My wife was still very much awake. She, she said, she just heard me, you know, saying things and, you know, and yet, I mean, I was quite conscious, but I was in another, I was in another realm, battling these forces. Wrestling these forces. Friends, these things are real. You see, the devil doesn't recognize our big churches. It doesn't recognize the size of our church. The devil recognizes the size of our heart, our capacity in the realm of the spirit. And I mean no offense to people who are pastoring churches. That's the, I, I do not mean any offense. But I'm saying this day, it, it doesn't take much to, you know, to pull a cloud. But if you want to pull the cloud, I... If you want to gather the cloud, you want to see the formation of the cloud over your atmosphere, Mangaraba Shayada, you have to come into a new re into a new realm. Heaven must approve you. Men may approve you, but if heaven has not sanctioned you, if heaven has not approved you, you're done for because the enemy is coming for you. And guess what? We're not doing the enemy, we're not in that realm of the enemy, but we recognize them. Ours is to engage with Christ. Ours is to continue to press into the realities of the demand of God for this new day. Ours is to continue to seek. Ours is to continue to find knock. Ours is to continue to search the new path in Christ. Ours is to continue to make amen, the demand of God for our day the new norm. Ours is not to be running after the devil. I don't run after the devil. The devil is only but an instrument in the hand of God empowering me. You see, the devil cannot kill you except you allow him. No Satan, no force can kill you except you allow them. Because if you know your place in Christ, you know that every arrow the enemy throws at you, come on, is to train you, amen, to be skilled in catching arrows. Amen. You know that every, 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 every sword that comes against you, you know that, amen, is a skill, amen, is a place of training for you to know how to use the, you know, the word of God, which is your own sword of the spirit. Come on. If you are well kitted, this is the day where God is saying we, we need to be dressed. In fact, this is, this is what I wanted to share this morning. That for us to go on with, with God to the new realm, to the new reality, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to be redressed. If you've been tracking with me since last year, 
we deal we deal with the concept of you know the new season dressing for the new season just while i woke up this morning the the lord the lord brought back that same word into my spirit he said tell my people that for for them to be able to enter into a day of breakthrough they've got to change their garment i'm excited i'm excited about what god is saying what god is doing in this new day tell my people they've got to change again you know i was saying some time ago i said every new season in our life demands amen a transformation demands that we change our garment and garment will mean all kinds of things when it comes to the dynamics of the spirit every new season will require that we change do you know how many times Joseph have to change to finally get to that day, amen, where the king sent for him? Don't think because you have changed and you've, you've been wearing this particular garment and everybody's celebrating you and you've been interpreting dreams. Come on, the garment you're going to wear in interpreting the dream, amen, of a, of a butler, amen, of a baker is going to be different from the garment you're going to wear, hallelujah, in Standing before Pharaoh to give his interpretation of dream. Come on. The garment you wear in the heart of Potiphar is different from the garment you're going to wear. Hallelujah. In the prison. You've got to understand the various garments you're going to wear. To be able to come to that place of divine representation. I was sharing some time ago and I told you. You know, after, you know, after, you know, after Joseph interpreted the dream of the butler. I mean, that was powerful. And here was the declaration, you know, my brother made. In fact, not my brother, my great grandfather. My great grandfather said, remember me because I carry within my gene, I carry within my DNA. Joseph, Joseph is in my DNA. Come that Rabbi Yanda. He says, remember me when you get to the palace. The patriarch Joseph made a mistake. Nobody can connect you to your place of arrival. I. People can prepare you, but they cannot connect you. It is times and chance, the seasons of God that prepares you for the next reality. When that door opens, you better know that you're ready. But don't try to force it open. Don't try to force it open by, divine, by connection. By trying to tell people, you know, people, you know, people have been asking me, don't you have a card? You know, I was, I was somewhere, I was talking, you know, I was sharing something. And the person said, I'd like to contact you. Don't you have a card? I don't have a business card. I, I, I have nothing to sell. <laughs> Now that I don't believe in it, I, I just that I, I mean I'm a graphic artist. I mean I design things. I just don't have it. I just don't have it. It doesn't take me five, you know, five minutes. All right, not to exaggerate, maybe ten minutes to design a card for myself. But but what would I be putting there? Doctor, prophet, you know, PhD holder. God, God help us. Come on, I'm a brother in Christ. I'm a brother in Christ, baptized with the fire of God. To blaze, hallelujah, this nation. To blaze my generation for Christ. I don't want, when I die, I don't want nobody calling me prophet Isaiah died, blah, blah. No, brother Isaiah is just a brother. He's just, a new, he's just anyone like us. But he offered his heart to the Lord. That's all. That's all. He offered his heart. He offered his life. I have no other agenda than this agenda. Than this agenda. Because I've come to realize that if you don't posture yourself, if you don't position yourself, the people will continue to rot. The people will continue to, you know, group in darkness. The people will continue to live in misery. Come on. When God sees somebody who can go on behalf of the people, he says, I sought for a man. I am that man. God, look no further. You found me. And perhaps he will find you today. Perhaps you will throw every career and whatever distraction, whatever you've call you patch yourself to give you some identity and give you some voice and position throw them aside and let god find you you see if god cannot find you no man will find you you can be in all the tv station you can be on air you can be on all the social media you can be everywhere you you can you listen you you, you can do everything to project yourself you know that's ministry yeah that's what people call ministry today we want to project ourselves we're seeking for platform i'm not seeking for platform i i want to be found because when god finds you nations will find you i say when god finds you he will position you he will expose you he will make you a voice to the nations yeah nations will be finding me in fact they're already finding me we've got people from different parts of the world connecting with us in this place that i am People are connecting. People are using our resources. They, they, their lives are being imparted and being transformed. 
Why? Because I don't want to be found by, you know, by these things. I don't want to be attached to these things. Whatever you see Isaiah have is a tool to advance the kingdom. I don't have anything, including the clothes that I buy. The clothes that I buy. The clothes, the clothes that I buy. The sh- I buy shoes to advance the I don't buy things for my own good pleasure. Oh, I like it. No, no, no. The first thing I ask myself, would they advance the kingdom of God? If you see me wear something new, it's because of the kingdom of God. Not for myself. I've left that realm. Listen, we have nothing to hold on to here. If we are partakers of the goodness of God, it's because, amen, the Father has found us worthy and fit to express His glory. Karabayanda. It's time to be redressed. It's time to be reclothed. It's time to be a voice. The nations have been hearing noise. They're tired of the noise. They want the voice of one. And you don't get that voice until you go in the place of prayer. Until you find your place in that secluded place. Until you find your true identity in the place where nobody can identify with you. Oh, you don't hear me. I said, until you find your place in the place where no one can identify with you. You cannot become the desires of the nation. Friends, the order of change. The priesthood have changed. Unfortunately, it's going to take a while for a lot of people to catch up. But you that have been awoken at the twilight, come on, take the journey before the breaking of the day. Take the journey. Create the path. Be a pathfinder for the people. Listen, there's a different voice. There's a different sound of, you know, within the atmosphere. Don't you understand? There is, there is a new voice in the land. There's a new voice in the town. The voice of the old has died with the old. It's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new day. And we're breaking into that day. Nothing of the old, nothing of our past is going to stop us. We're breaking into this new day. Nothing of the flesh, nothing of the former will stop us from entering into this new new reality. We are taking possession. We 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 are grabbing. Hallelujah. The woman said, avenge me of my adversary. There's an adversary, brethren. There are, there are powers out there that want to steal, that want to stick, that want to prevent, not just us, but the nations from entering amen, into the pleasures of God. We will have to go on behalf of the people. There are people, they don't know what to do again. I mean, they've come to accept their lot. Injustice all over the place. Arise, oh God, and let your enemies be scattered. Injustice all over the place. Look at what happened. If you if you have been watching tele- television, if you're in South Africa, in Alexandra, see how this red ant go pull down people's houses. Just I mean, wreck the life of the people. You say, well, where, where they build their houses is is is, is, is on illegal, whatever. For goodness sake, people have been asking for houses for several for decades. I mean, we've got injustice all, up, all, all around the place. We want to rise up in the spirit of justice. God must avenge for those people. Somebody must, 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 must take the blame. You see all the government, everybody is removing their hand. No, no, I didn't, I didn't order them to do that. Come on. For, for such a number of, you know, ungodly people to go and just destroy just destroy people's life. You don't think of the children that are there. You don't think of, you know, the women. You don't think me for goodness sake may god arise and may his enemies be scattered there is a spirit that we're warring with there is a spirit that we're warring with we're not going to fold our hands we want to pray on behalf of the land we want to stand on behalf of the people we want to we want to engage we want to see this nation has has got enough resource to change the lot of the people to transform the life of the people we want to see education. We want to see education, amen, in those, you know, informal settlements, in those areas. We want to see development. I mean, I keep saying, what an, if you want to know the sharp division of injustice in this nation, you look at Santin, you look at Alexandra, is only one bridge that divides these two communities. One reflects, amen, the face of poverty. The other reflects the face of prosperity. How can it be? How do we bridge the gap? Because I tell you something, 
Those who think that they're, they're, they're living in a glass house and everything is looking beautiful, they better watch it. What are we doing? The valleys must be filled. The mountain must be made low. The crooked path must be straightened. That is the judgment. That's the justice of God. That's the judgment of God. And that's the gospel. It must be so in every dimension of life. Where there is inequality, we want to declare, hallelujah, the principle of divine justice. We're declaring it. We're proclaiming it. Not just in South Africa, but in every part of the world. Amen. In the place where the military are taking, taking their guns and shooting innocent people that are protesting. Because they don't want, they don't want, amen, the military to rule. Now you take, you take guns and you start shooting them in, in, you know, you know, in Sudan. This is happening in Sudan. May God arise. You see, we have no weapon of our own than the weapon heaven has given to us. Our battle is not flesh and blood. When you look at all these things, do you just see them as news? Or do you wake up and say, God, no, this thing should not be. When you look at what is happening in, in, in Europe, you know, you look at what is happening in the United Kingdom. I mean, Theresa May, she's gone. They're looking for a new, you know, a, 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 a leader. A new prime minister that will leave them. What, what, are, what are we supposed to be doing? We're supposed to be praying God. Let that be your own man. Let that be your own woman. Whoever is, because you see, this is the day where God is transforming. He's changing things. And occasion, occasion is, is taking place. Things are happening all around. Amen. To, you know, to reorder the structure of society. If we are not awakened, if the church is not positioned, if we're not ready, if we're not sensitive, I will be watching his TV. You don't know that God is calling you to engage. You say, what, 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 what do I have to do with, you, with United Kingdom? My good God, you've got a lot to do. Because the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof is giving the earth to you. Don't you understand that you are the Adam that has been given the capacity to rule and to govern the earth? It's a rule in the midst of the enemy. You're seeking for dominion. Dominion began in, begins in the place, hallelujah, of engaging the word of God. Bringing to bear that which God wants to see in the land, in the nation. That is dominion. And you cannot take dominion in a place if you have not taken dominion over your own life. If you have not br brought yourself, amen, under the divine administration, amen, of the will of God, of the counsel of God. How can dominion be expressed? No. The devil will continue to dominate us. Injustice. You know, ec economic injustice, political injustice. No, we rise in this day in the name of the Lord. We're calling upon the name of God. Amen. Whose I am, we're declaring, we're declaring, we're declaring that a new day has come. You know what? When we take over the spiritual atmosphere, it's only a matter of time before the natural aligns. I said, when we take over, you see what we're doing, we are governing by the spirit. We're governing by the spirit. I may never come to your area. I may never come to your location. But I'm there in the spirit. Paul says when you gather. And my spirit gathers with you. I'm in places that people think I'm not there. I hear what people think I can hear. I see things where people think I cannot see. Because I'm a man of the spirit. And when you're a person of the spirit. There are no, there are no boundaries. There are no limitations. When, when, when the Lord takes me out of this nation tomorrow, I will still be in South Africa. You cannot remove my footprint. You cannot remove my touch, my, my spiritual co co culture and quality over this nation. It's there. It's been imprinted for life. When they sing in the song of the history of this nation, they will remember in the spirit there is a man. His name is Isaiah Phillips. He prayed. He stood in the gap and he changed things. That define governance in the natural realm. We are people of the spirit. We may never own a spoke. But we are the chosen possession of the Lord. Over city and nations. We know who we are. When you know who you are. You are not intimidated. By what you have or what, what you don't have. You are not intimidated. By who is connected to you or who is not connected to you. You are not intimidated. Because you know whose you are. You know where you're connected to. You know your source. You know, you have, you know your identity. And you're pressing. You're pressing. You are, you are located in the realm of the spirit. Friends. It's a new day. And a new day demands. We wear. A new mentality. These mentalities are garments. It requires that we have an understanding 
of the new where. Have you noticed that a season changes? Clothing also change. We must change. We must dress for the new day. <laughs> we must dress for the new day. A season changes, garment changes. You don't want to dress, amen, like one in you know in summer when it's winter. That you know that chilly, deadly winter. You can you can almost not feel your finger. <laughs> and you're dressing in your bikini. I you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you play with death when the season changes you change your garment you change your apparel you change your dressing the scripture speaks deeply into these things we're talking about I'm a voice of one I'm proclaiming and declaring it's time to change it's time to change how you dress it's time to change, amen, upgrade how you see things. I'm not saying you're not a Christian. No, I never dispute that. I'm just saying for you to go on, for you to become relevant, for you to participate in the next dimension, in the next demand of God. We need to change you. We need to dress you. And before we dress you, sometimes we need to wash you. Hallelujah. Good word. The Bible says there was a man found among them with the wrong garment. You find it in Luke, in Matthew, Matthew 22. Maybe I should read that scripture, then I'm going to round up with this. I wanted to share more on this concept. But I'm just going to read this one scripture, then I'm going to round up. And because uh, the children are going to school. Hallelujah. Just to see them before they go to school. Hallelujah. Matthew 22. Matthew 22 verse, uh, let's take it from verse 8. Then he said to his servants, the wedding is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy. Ah, come on. They were not worthy. They were not worthy. You know, a lot of things can make us unworthy. A lot of situation can make us unworthy. First of all, Unworthiness starts with a mindset. It's a belief system. An inferiority complex. A superiority complex. An insecurity complex. Inferiority complex. A superiority complex. What's the, what's the last one I just said now? Inferiority. In, insecurity. They are complex. They are all embedded within the nature of man. When you see people trying to project themselves. Trying to you know, it, 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 it means something in them and say you're not worthy. But, but the only way you can take charge and the only way you can force your presence is to give a different front, is to give a different view, different, you know, image. You know, a lot of the things that we're doing is all about covering our image or trying to project the wrong image. This is a day of redemption. All these things the Lord will have to harvest out of our life. We are not going to go on with God. We are not going to come into this next divine invitation. If we're coming with a, man, a crooked mindset, all right? You know, an insecure belief system. You're forever suspecting people. You're forever creeping on people behind them. You can't, you can't approach people in the front. You're forever coming through the, through the, you know, through the window. Jesus said, all those who come through the window are thieves. Come on. Power of redemption. In this day of redemption, oh my good God, you, you cannot go on with the Lord except the Lord deals with these areas of our life. There are, in, there are things in us that will stop us. In fact, the enemy doesn't need to fight. Th those things disqualify you. They are unworthy. They scan them through the scanning of the spirit. They see, pom, 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 red light. They are unworthy. Fear and doubt, unbelief. Those things will make you unworthy. They were invited, but they are unworthy. Maybe, I will, maybe, maybe we should round it up from here and take it, you know, continue tomorrow. They are unworthy. What makes you unworthy when God invites you? When heaven says, come with me. Come, let's go to the next realm. You begin to say, no, Lord, I can't go with you. Ah, I like what, how can you like where you are? How can you like where you are? 
You know the story. You know the story. You know all the excuses we're given. One just said, I just, I just got myself, you know, an, a nice, you know, a missionary for my, you know, for my agriculture. I cannot come out. I, I, I've got some business. I've got some appointment uh, 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 in New York. Uh, uh, I've got to be in Hong Kong. Uh, unworthy. The other was, oh, I just, I just marry. You know, I, I need to take care of my wife. They lack a sense of the season. They lack an understanding of, of, of the worth of him that invited them. Hallelujah. They're unworthy. Yes. People are unworthy because of all kinds of issues. All kinds of issues. There are disappointments. You know? The disappointment we face from, from our past. You know, some people in this nation, are, I mean, 70% of people in this nation have gone through divorce. That alone, the devil can use that alone to stop you from going on with the Lord. Say, so how? You, you. How can you go on with the Lord? Look at you. You've divorced. You're unworthy. You don't have what it takes. The spirit of accusation. You've got to, you see, these are, these are the things redemption should deal with. Not people going to church and just, you're just lying to the people and just telling them how, how all is going on. No, you've got to help them to dig deep into those areas and begin to help them to systematically deal with them. That's the power of redemption. I've got a whole material to teach on that. I'm, you see, I've got so many things that I want to do. This is salvation. Salvation 101. When, when you finish with salvation 101, then we'll do salvation 102. Come on. You see, what you teach in, in your salvation class is different from what you teach amen, in your redemption class. This is redemption. You've given your heart to the Lord. Yes, you're saved. But there are issues. There are choices. There are decisions you've made. There are all kinds of places you've been. There are all kinds of things you've done in the past. All right? They are, they are, they are in the past. But guess what? The memories are still very much alive. And the devil every day, amen, is, is using those memories to stop you, to hinder you, to cripple you. Even in your prayer life. You know what I'm talking about. Even in your prayer life. The moment that thing comes, oh, Suddenly you get paralyzed. The devil is a liar. I break the hold of that thing over your life. But guess what? It's not just prayer that is going to do it. We've got to do it through teaching. We've got somebody needs to teach us, amen, how to be free. This is the day of freedom. How to be liberated. How to be delivered. Guess what? I've done things in my life in the past that I'm not proud of. But those things no longer have a hold over me. They have no hold over me. And you, you can only do that when you constantly, continually engage with God and live in that realm that says it is no longer I. You see, as long as I is alive in you, the devil has a foothold over your life. As long as there is an I, listen to what the devil said. He said, I will arise above the stars of God. I, I. When there is I, there is sin. You see, because in, in, the, in the word spell sin, S-I-N, when you remove I from the middle, there's no sin. So I, amen, is the image of sin in us. Sin is a nature. Sin is not an act. Yes, there's an act. But sin is a nature. Until we deal with the issue, we, we deal with the nature of sin in us. We have not dealt with sin. Because, you see, there is always something that triggers people to do something. Whatever triggers you to do something that you know is contrary to the will of God, that's the problem. The act is not the problem. People smoking are not the problem. People who are manifesting or right, who want to become gay, that's not the problem. If you're fighting gay, you're fighting homosexual, you're fighting lesbian, that's not the problem. That's not what you should. That is a fruit. Don't fight the fruit. You've got to look at what led the people to decide that they want to be gay. What led the people to decide they want to be lesbians. What led the people to say they want to become homosexual. That is the problem we should be looking for. We should be solving. Don't fight people that are gay. Their soul is crying. Many people who are gay, they want, they want to change, but they don't know what to change. It's like they've been trapped. They've been trapped. I've got compassion for those people. They need You see, these are things that we can only deal with by the Spirit. Only those who have the keys of the kingdom can deal with these things. How many churches you go to that they talk about these things? How do you, do, how, how do you love somebody that is a gay? 
and not compromise. You see, if you, have, if you don't have sight on the inside, you will condemn everybody. What leads people to become perverted? That's what, don't look at the perversion. Look at what led them. Look, every, every, every fruit has got a root. Every fruit has got a root. Every fruit has got a seed. Don't fight the fruit. Look for the seed. Look for the root of the tree. I, I thought I was going to close now. <laughs> they were unworthy. That's what led us here. This is a powerful thing. Maybe, we, maybe we're going to continue on this. You see, we want a breakthrough. We want to go on with the Lord. We want to enter into a new day. But we also want to, you see, that's why, you see, you've, if, if you're watching me, please, you see that prayer I did, I wrote a few days ago and I posted it, you know, for people to pray. That's a powerful prayer that can bring you deliverance. Because that came by the Spirit. I was sitting in my office and the Spirit of, the Spirit of the Lord says, start writing. And I thank God for those who have been reading and, you know, share, please read and share it. You know, some of us in this new day, in the, in the Reformation, we don't believe in things. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. God has dealt with that. Now we're pressing on with God. Aye, there are things that will stop you from entering. I'm telling you. There are dimensions. There are things in you that when that day of the Lord appears, you will be found that you are with the wrong garment. So this is a pre- preemptive measure. You see, what I'm doing is, in case, that's, if you read this prayer, you see, in case you've disobeyed God and you've opened the door of your life, you know, un, you know unknowingly. Because, you see, disobedience is a door opener for the devil. When we live in disobedience, amen, the spirit of this disobedience comes in. And when that spirit comes in, all kinds of things come within. The Bible says when the demon is cast out of a person, all right, the spirit goes to an arid land, all right, and decides to come back and check if... That place that he has been cast out, amen, is kept empty, garnished, clean. He said, if it is, then he's he going he's gonna to bring seven more powerful demons than, 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 than himself. I mean, look at that. That's a principle in the word of God. So, you, you, for all I care, you can, be, you can be talking prophetic, apostolic, reformation, all the, and, you know, believing with the devil, believing with demons. And, you know, demons, they are very good to in adapting. Ah, my good God. <laughs> I can tell you, I can, I can give you teachings on that and experience on that. Demons, they are very good in, uh, in adapting. They are, they are the master of adaptation. Demons, they are the master of adaptation. They will adapt. They will adapt. Demons are good. Paths of darkness. You see, they, because you see, they walk with, the, with, the, with they walk with the environment. They walk or uh, with the atmosphere. We gotta know all these things. We've got to know all these things. Don't live your life in assumption. Those who live their life in assumption, they become agents of casualty. Now, there's nothing you, there's nothing stopping you from. Father, I thank you this day. I yield my heart in obedience to you. Perhaps there is a place in my life that I've disobeyed you and I've allowed the wrong spirit to take control, to influence my life. Lord, this morning, I'm yielding my soul to you. I'm, I'm yielding my body to you. I'm asking you to shed your light on me. If there's any area of my life, oh God, that has been exposed to darkness, that will stop me from going on with you, from living my life in accordance to your will. Lord Jesus, I ask, oh God, may your life, oh God, once again, begin to walk in me as I repent before you. As I repent before you, Lord, I declare, oh God, let every contrary spirit in the name of Jesus in my life, in my home, in my family, in my marriage, in my ministry, now begin to go. I bind my mind, my soul, my body to your will. I declare in the name of Jesus that everything that is not of you right now begin to leave. Unforgiveness, anger, pride, hatred. Those are the little things you start with. Unforgiveness, hatred, pride, bitterness, lust. I get rid of them. Lord, I bind my mind, my soul, my imagination, my thoughts to your will. I declare that I have the mind of Christ. I have the mind of Christ. I receive the mind of Christ. I receive the mind of purity. I receive purity in my life. I receive transformation, renewal, reformation. I declare in the name of Jesus that I am the liver. He whom the Son set free. What arm will such a prayer do? Nothing. It empowers you the more. It enables you the more. It graces you the more. You are able to go further. Then you can begin to go into taking nations and taking cities. But don't give the devil 
any room. So I'm going to continue, hopefully tomorrow, on this scripture. They've been invited, but they're unworthy. Father, we thank you today. Thank you for answering our prayer. Thank you for everyone that tuned in this morning and those that will be listening or are listening on the radio. We pray for them. We ask that you continue to enlighten us, continue to illuminate us, continue to empower us to reflect, to represent your intention for this new day. You say you're seeking for a man to stand in the gap, to build up the wall, but to stand in the gap on behalf of the land. Father, we are that man that you're finding this morning. We are that vessel. We are those instruments. Use us for your glory. May your name be glorified. May your name be exalted. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I've come to the end of uh, today's morning devotion. Thank you so very much for joining. Have yourself a wonderful day. God bless you. Uh, uh, Continue to pray for me, please. I need all your prayers and uh, yes, support. Thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye.